Hi, my name is Puspinder Sani. Once again, I came with a very interesting tutorial in front of you. Here, I am going to uh, make a magic with the table view. Here, I have one table view where I am taking some categories and some items and the details of the items. So, the basic phenomena of this table view, this is my first screen of the table view. This is my header, I can say questions and this is my categories if i click on any category then that particular category should be selected and i can enter the details related to that particular category and i can submit to the back end side so this is what we are going to do in this table view how we are going to achieve so be in this video and uh, watch till the end let's start with the table view magic so here i'm going to create one fresh project this is i'm going to create for storyboard click on next set up your product information like product name and you can add the team and this is organization identifier this is the bundle identifier from here interface i will select storyboard because we are working on storyboard uh, tutorial so click on next and then it will ask for the location so you can create any where where wherever you want so this is my fresh project now i am selecting a simulator where i am going to simulate that so at the very first what are the things is required for us that we will focus and second then we will move to the magic of the table view what we are going to implement in this video so first of all i will go into my main storyboard here i will create one table view i am setting the constraint to my table view from all the side and now i will take the ib outlet in my view controller of this table view so i will name as table view after that click on connect now open your table view controller from table view controller you will see you have a table view now i will create my one function if you did not watch my previous video about the table view then i will recommend it that please go and watch my previous video okay so that you will uh, you will better understand how to use the table view in a very professional way so i will create one function private function set table view here i will set all the required things for the table view first of all i am going to set the delegate and data source to my table view so i will name as self dot table view dot delegate equal to self same for self dot table view dot data source equal self so this is two property of the table view which we required for uh, accessing and for working with the table view now i will copy paste this and i will call this function from my view data load after that i have to create a extension for my table view so i will name as view controller here ui table view delegate ui table view data source so this is two major function now here what we have to talk we have to take three function of the table view that is number of section then number of i rows in section then the final one cell for row at index this one so this is three function which we required for the table view to work with it now i will take the hierarchy of the table view as i explain in my previous video if so i am again telling you if you did not watch my previous video then watch and understand that how we use the table view okay so now i am going to create enumerator here the name i i can say my controller my controller cell type so here suppose my controller is view control so you can give view controller cell type suppose if your controller is name as detail uh, detail booking or anything so you can give as detail booking cell now here i will enumerate with integer plus case iteratable so now i will take uh, i can say uh, quotient equal to 0 categories equal to 1 detail equals to 2 action equal to 3 so this is my uh, section in my table view i am going to use these sections so how we are going to use that 
now return my control cell type dot all cases dot count this count number of row in each section so as you can see questions categories will be multiple detail will be single and action will be single so first of all i am going to create all type of cell this is okay so now i will create one folder that i will name as cells inside that i will create coca touch class next and what type of coca touch class i need to create this is ui table view cell so i can name as question cell also create the xip then next create same for categories i will name as category also create xib click on next create so here i have all the cells which i required for my view controller now i am going to design this cells like my question cell how it will looks like now i have all the cells ready with me here this is questions this is category and this is detail and after finally action cell so now i will create the outlets of every cell inside the swift file so first of all my question i can say lb description then category in category i required image so i can say i am g icon and i can say lb title now detail in detail cell also i required only text field so i can say tf details connect the everything you have to take as a professional way so that it will be easy for naming convention also if any other developer is working on your project now the action cell here i am going to take the button so i can say btn submit or save whatever you would like to give now let's move back to the view controller inside view controller at the very first we have to register all our cells in my table view so self dot table view dot register with u i n i b here i will take my u i n i b so u i n i b with nib name and bundle so my nib name is question cell my bundle is nil and my reusable identifier also question cell now same thing i'm going to do for other cells this is we can say category this i will copy paste here this is we can say detail detail this is action i'll copy paste again here now i have four cell in my uh, container in my table and four cases now i will set the number of row to each section so here i will take switch statement in switch statement i am going to pass section and pattern my controller cell type dot question dot raw value then return one default return dot zero now i will copy paste this i will write multiple time so this is categories this is details action now for categories if you'll see we are returning one so at the place of one we have to return multiple okay so same i will copy paste for my cell for row index where i will give let cell equal to table view dot dq with reusable identifier at index path this will be as type of question cell and here return cell same i'll copy paste for categories details 
and action and by default UI table view cell now this is category cell so I will change to category this is detail cell so I will change to detail this is action cell so I will change to action now we have all the cells so first of all let's run the dummy project how it looks like and before that index part dot section now let's run and see the output how it looks like what is it is producing here if you will see the table view and the question category detail and section now we have to distribute that on the basis of our functionality and now I am going to make some uh, beautification in table view cells so first of all I will give the corner radius to my uh, icon so here did set self dot img icon dot layer dot corner radius I can say 5 here that's it now same thing I'm going to do with my buttons so here did set inside did set I will write self dot button submit dot layer dot corner radius equals I can say 10 now I will see the output and before seeing the output I will go my view controller inside my view controller I will set one property and these function I will take inside my set table view function here self dot table view dot uh, I can say separator separator style dot none and additionally I can say cell dot selection style dot none here also uh, this is required actually as we uh, as I have shown into the demo so after click on that we have to display our details and action cell so that's it now let's see the output now this is the final output of my table where we have the header that is called questions this is categories and this is detail now we have to segregate on the basis of our initial functionality so let's begin with that now I will take a dummy list and as of now for this video tutorial I am taking the list as a string only so private where my list type of string same string and also I will take my private so why I took two list this will be the original list always if any item change or anything it will remain same but the another one will change as per our functionality now I will set the item for I in 0 to 10 I can say and self dot my list dot append item and item will be I can say category name at index i plus 1 after that self dot temp list dot append I can say all append all so here self dot my list now here we are going to return self dot temp dot count and if self dot temp list dot count less than or equal to 1 then return 1 else 
return zero. Same logic I'm going to apply for save action. So here it is. Now let's see the output how it looks like. So this is my output. This is fresh table. Okay. Now after that, I'm also apply this here. Now after that we have to apply the clickable event for this. So did select row at index. Here I'm going to write a simple logic self if self dot template dot count less than equal to one then self dot template equals self dot my list else self dot template dot remove all self dot templist dot append and my new item will be self dot my list and this will be index path dot row so the data formation has been completed now we have to refresh the data so here self dot table view dot reload data now let's see the output here if you will see there is uh, the functionality is working we have to set the data so from category i will take cell dot i'll be title dot text there is some mistake it will be like that now go back to the view controller here i'll be title dot text equal to self dot temp list index path dot row now again i'm going to represent the list this is my list if i select 5 then 5 if i select 9 then 9 if i select 11 then 9 then now it comes to the magic what we are going to implement in that let's begin with that here if you notice i'm reloading the entire table view without having any animation without having any magic so for this we have to write in such a way self dot table view dot begin updates means the table view updates will start from this line now reload sections and what are the sections we have to reload that we are going to write here with automatic animation so first of all my cell type dot we can say category dot raw value this is details and this is so i can say action now begins has been done now we have to write for and so this is and updates now let's see the output and see the final magic how it looks like wow here if you'll see so that's all for this video in this video you as i told you you have learned lots of things and in previous video also you will learn how to manage the table view in a very professional way and in this video also i have given the basic example of uh, uh, professionalism into the my table view and please subscribe this channel so that you can learn lots of things and lots of magic and if you have any query please write down into the comment box thank you have a great time bye bye